and welcome to the biggest city in New Zealand, Auckland. Auckland is a special place because this is where I was born and raised, but there are so many other reasons why. If you just take a look around, there are so many secret hideaways, a bustling CBD, a range of suburbs with all types of architecture, and you are never far away from a beautiful beach. As well as the magnificent scenery, Auckland's weather is something special. We will have four seasons in one day, making Aucklanders not know if they need togs, a coat, shorts or gumboots. But these are the things that make this little big city unique. There's one unmissable factor, well, more than one unmissable factor, that makes Auckland different. Volcanoes! Here we are on top of Mount Eden. And here are some volcanoes around us. And some more. And some more. 52 volcanoes to be exact. They better all behave. But what is a volcano? The first thing that you have to know is that the earth is not solid the whole way through. In the centre of the earth there is hot, molten rock, hotter than you could ever imagine. This is called magma. This magma is boiling and twirling in the depths of the planet, hoping that one day it can reach the earth's surface. A volcano is a geological feature. That means it's part of the earth. It is a weak spot in the crust where it has cracked apart. This crack is now a lift or a portal which allows magma to be transported all the way up and then can explode out onto the earth's surface forming a volcano. You can think of a volcano like a cut on your arm. When there is a cut on your arm, fluid and icky blood can escape to the surface. Even the earth gets a boo-boo at times. So volcanoes can be violent and deadly, and Auckland has 52 of them? We must be pretty brave to live in this volcano-infested city. The reason why we feel so comfortable living in Auckland with all these volcanoes around us is because there hasn't been any volcanic activity for a very long time. Over here is Mangafau or Mount Eden where we just were. That volcano has not erupted for over 15,000 years. But that does not mean that they have all died off. What we have in Auckland are volcanoes called dormant volcanoes or sleeping volcanoes. A dormant volcano is a volcano that is connected to the volcanic field. And if there's any seismic activity, it could erupt at any moment. An extinct volcano is a volcano that has been cut off from its magma supply and will never, ever, ever erupt again. Whereas an active volcano is a volcano that could erupt at any point in time. In fact, it could be erupting right now. Thank goodness we have none of those in Auckland. There's always been one volcano in Auckland that has taken my fancy. As a small child, I thought it was a sleeping dinosaur or a dragon or something like that. And that is Rangitoto. Let's just take a look at the island of Rangitoto. Not only is it quite high, but it's really stretched out as well. The island of Rangitoto is different to all the other volcanoes in Auckland, and there's a reason why. Here we are in the touring teacher kitchen. Why are we in a kitchen when we're talking about volcanoes, I hear you ask? Well, we're going to make some lava. Or the closest thing we can get to, gooey, delicious fudge. Over 600 years ago, when Rangitoto last erupted, the volcano was actually underwater. When she was erupting, the lava started to pour out. And not just a little bit, but tons and tons and tons of the scorching stuff. The lava kept flowing out and building on top of each other. It built and built and built until it turned into an island. Rangitoto Island, in fact. After the lava had burst out of the volcano and reached the air, it started to settle. Then after some time, it cooled down where it had stopped. And it looks a little bit like this. Wow, look! Our lava has hardened into our own little island. Hopefully you guys have learnt something about the volcanoes we have here in Auckland. It is your turn now to make some delicious molten lava. I do have a tip though. This lava can get hot. Not as hot as real lava, 
but still quite hot. So your teachers are the ones in charge, so you guys can stay safe. But you do get to watch very carefully to see how it forms its own little island. If you want to have the recipe for this, you'll find it on the website for the resources for this week. Thanks for watching guys! Now I get to try some of my own lava. Now, I don't think real lava is this tasty. See you guys next time! Mmm!